Hi, Mel here from Cook with Mel. If you are returning to watch yet another great video, welcome back. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you get notified of all the recipes we have coming up. As you know, we have published a fabulous pasta, keto pasta recipe. And to go with that, I wanted to give you some great options for uh, pasta sauces. And these sauces, I would honestly be happy to serve on any special occasion. The nutritional information and your shopping list is in the description box. Let's get to those recipes now. Over a medium heat, melt three tablespoons of butter, then add one third of a cup each of chopped onion, chopped celery, and red bell peppers, and let that saute until the onions are translucent. Then add one tablespoon of crushed garlic and give it a stir to let the garlic infuse into the dish. I've got here some ground beef with a bit of fat in it and we're going to add 400 grams of the ground beef and I also have some ground pork and I added 280 grams of the ground pork. If you just want to use one type of meat you need to add one and a half pounds or 680 grams worth and once you have added your meat you'll need to break it up a bit and next add one can of chili fixing Rotel tomatoes. I actually couldn't sauce it so I made my own. To a bowl add a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder, two teaspoons of chili powder and if you want it spicy you can add more. Combine all the spices then add a plain can of chopped tomatoes and stir. Okay, break up the meat again and add your Rotel chili fixings tomatoes and stir those in. Look at the color. So delicious already. The original recipe I converted to keto called for a can of golden mushroom soup, so I made my own zero carb version for this recipe. And if you want to use it, click on the link on the top right hand corner now or you can just leave it out if you like. I added three quarters of a cup of the mushroom soup and stirred that in. Next I added one teaspoon of coriander powder and a tablespoon of coriander leaves, then stirred in a tablespoon of low carb Mexican spice blend. Then to top it all off, I added a Mexican cheese blend and you need a cup of that. Give it a taste to see if you need some salt and pepper. Okay, because this is a meal prep, I added it to my container and let it cool down completely, then it's ready for freezing. If you want to make it straight away, you sure can, and it'll be the same for after it's defrosted. Add your keto noodles, and here I am preparing dinner for one, but this recipe is actually for six meals. Then the, add the keto Tex-Mex sauce, and top it off with some grated cheese and garnish with a bit of paprika or chili powder and then bake at 340 Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 15 minutes depending on how brown you like your cheese topping. Over a medium heat add one tablespoon of olive oil and let that heat up for about a minute. Then add 200 grams of diced bacon or pancetta and let that saute a little until it browns. Then add 50 grams of diced mushrooms and one teaspoon of garlic powder to flavor the dish and stir that in well. Sprinkle in a generous pinch of pepper, then add 50 grams of cream cheese. The cream cheese needs to heat up so it melts and stir that in and try and break it up and let it incorporate into the other ingredients. This bowl, I have two egg yolks and a half a cup of cream. Whisk that together, then add it to the dish. Then add 50 grams of grated cheddar. We will need to let the cheddar melt. And while my cheese is melting, I'm just preparing my keto noodles. This is a gluten-free version I'm trying. 
and it was good except the noodles broke up when I added it to the sauce. When I find a great recipe I will post it for you guys. <laughs> okay I strained my noodles and added a serving for four to the keto carbonara and gave it a great stir. See how the noodles are breaking up as I stir it? Then I sprinkled a generous portion of dried parsley and you can use fresh too. I just used what was in the pantry. Add a portion to your plate and sprinkle grated parmesan and you can add more parsley if you like. So pretty. Over a medium heat, melt two tablespoons of butter then add 450 grams of sliced chicken and I'm using skinless boneless. Then separate out the chicken pieces and let it fry until browned. I wanted to flavor the chicken next so I sprinkled one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder over the meat. Next we are going to add 230 grams of chopped broccoli and a heap tablespoon of chopped parsley and give it a stir so the garlic powder gets into the broccoli as well. Close the pot now and let that simmer for a few minutes to soften the broccoli. Next I added two teaspoons of pepper, yes I like pepper, and one cup or 90 grams of grated mozzarella cheese. Next I added one cup or 210 ml of heavy cream and three tablespoons of ricotta cheese for extra creaminess. And then I gave it a great stir until all the cheese has melted. Turn down the heat and let it simmer with the pot uncovered so the sauce can thicken a bit if you want it thicker. Then I added my keto noodles to the sauce and you will need four portions. And when that's fully combined, plate it up and add some grated parmesan or any cheese you have on hand and of course more parsley and there you go my keto chicken broccoli alfredo over a medium heat add two tablespoons of olive oil and let that warm through then i added 12 meatballs they were about the size of a golf ball and the total weight is 420 grams. Usually do recommend making your own if you can't find uh, low carb ones. I bought these because they were one carb total for the whole pack. Okay, let the meatballs brown, turning them over occasionally until they are browned on a few sides. Then add one can of chopped tomatoes and this can is total 6 grams of carbs divided by 4 serves that seem pretty good to me. Then add 1 teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 teaspoon of onion powder, 1 tablespoon of oregano, 1 tablespoon of basil and 1 teaspoon of ground pepper and stir that well. Give it a taste and add salt if you need to, but I didn't add any. Now close the pan and let it simmer on medium low for 10 minutes. Plate up the keto meatballs and spaghetti. I added the noodles to the plate first, then added the sauce on top. And voila! Beautiful and delicious. Honestly, I enjoyed every single one of these keto pasta sauces and i hope you get to try any one of them at the very least thanks for watching stay safe and be well